Not sure how to set up your flower shoot indoors? By the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you all the tools to get set up so you'll have a variety of ideas so you can photograph your flowers indoors. For the best tips on photographing flowers, especially indoors, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified every single Thursday when I upload a new video for you. I won best in the world for my flower photography and most of my work is done indoors. So I'm excited to share this with you. So I'm taking you behind the scenes to my actual florist. Oh my gosh, there's usually tons of flowers and there's not that much here. <gasps> wow. So my florist is in my grocery store and roses are so pretty but you don't want to get something that's dead because you'll see it up close that's a pain to clean when you're doing macro photography oh look at these different daisies gerber daisies these are the easiest to start with because they're flat so when you macro photograph them you don't have to stack as much or you, they're just really easy to start with so if you're just starting to photograph flowers use these these are nice and fresh. That's why I love coming here. <laughs> Here's a variety pack. I do that sometimes. But you can already see that this is wilting right here. And I wouldn't buy that. Every little crumble, I look in detail to make sure that there's nothing dead and it's nice and pretty and has some, like this looks like velvet, right? I've never done a white. That's different. <clears throat> See, it's $4.99. You get a couple of them, but these are baby Gerbers. So let's do a white one. I haven't done that much. This is nice and flat. And clean and See with this one, this one right here? That's a bad one. These are broken right here. Like this one, let's see, the majority, that one's gorgeous. Look, nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with this one. So I like to photograph behind too. Look at the behind. I think this might be the one. So let me share with you how easy it is to make a tabletop. Use some sawhorses. I would prefer black, but yellow's okay. Add some white plexi, some black plexiglass. Velvet is really nice to have. And of course, glass, because you can shine light underneath or on top. Another inexpensive way to make a tabletop is just adding particle board to your sawhorses. Super easy and very sturdy to use. Here I'm setting up my tent and it should be white. This is an old tent, but I love this tent. You can use it for a white backdrop and it also really helps to soften your light source. So here you see I have the white flowers in here and it softens the light to make it very elegant and beautiful. Look at how gentle the light is hitting these flowers. Now let me share with you natural light. The light's on the left side hitting from that window. You can see the shadows are more dramatic and that's because we took the tent off. So it has a different feel to these beautiful Gerber daisies. If you would like to use natural light with a dramatic feel, make a black box. All I've done here is tape some black boards with some black velvet to manipulate the natural light coming in from the window. Black velvet absorbs light, so it's a perfect way to be dramatic with your flowers. Comment below if you've ever photographed flowers indoors. Give me a yes down below. because this is not a bouquet to put around your house. This is a, a, 
a flower shoot. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that none of the flowers are touching. So I just purchased them and see how this one right here is kind of touching. So I need to maneuver this one. So let me give you a tip. When you're putting your flowers in a jar, put some rocks or rice or something down in here to hold them. What are you putting in? My rice. What are you putting in there? The whole flowers. Okay, so let's just say the flower's not working with you. A bonus tip is to put this on your tripod. It's a plant. It's connected here, and then you could twist it the way you want it. So say if you wanted the flower, this just this is such I I use this all the time. It unscrews, and you just gently hold it down. You can lift it easily and it's just gently held on to make it go straight. See? Now the plant is holding it up. So that's a great tip. This is a great tip. Just spray them all. See if I get anything good. Wowza. Can you see how pretty that is? Now you know how to set up your indoor flower photography shoot, but what if you wanna take it to the next level? I have a workshop on photographing flowers indoors on March 20th, where we photograph flowers together live for three hours. Check out the link below for this one-time workshop on photographing flowers indoors. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also share it with your friends and remember that your thousand words does make a difference. Check out this next video down below where we go behind the scenes where I share how to photograph flowers outdoors and give you tips on using natural light.